So let's move away from revenue and talk about the upcoming referendum because the National House of Chiefs has backed calls for a no vote in the upcoming December 17 referendum. The National House of Chiefs in a statement just coming in read, whilst we are aware that the election of chief executives of districts could result in the coexistence of central government and local government controlled by different political parties, experience clearly demonstrates that the culture of winner takes all would prevail at the local level to the detriment of the United Development Agenda. The second part of the statement says the House also said it is concerned that the introduction of partisan policies into local government will be accompanied by the unwholesome political culture and the corruption associated with partisan politics, which has already done a lot of harm to our society and the economy. The statement further adds the incidence of exclusiveness Right and healthy politicization of all issues, the marginalization of citizens who do not belong to the ruling party, and the exclusion of skilled manpower on partisan ground would be detrimental to development and good governance at the local level, among others. Let's now speak with George Che Bafua, who is the former president of the National Association of Local Authorities of Ghana. Thank you, sir, for joining us. Yeah, thank you, my sister, for having me. So the National House of Chiefs have also called for a no vote in the referendum in a six-point statement, insisting that the culture of winner takes all would creep into the election of MMDCs. Is this coming in as a surprise, especially from the area of the National House of Chiefs? Well, um, I, I don't think that that's too surprising mm. because um, National House of Chiefs is a, is a critical institution that has the democratic right to comment on any issue affecting the governance of this country. So if they have, they have expressed their, their, their opinion, I think they have the right to do so, and it's not surprising then. Um, but we, if, if we will have to put the issues we have raised in context. Let me, for instance, begin with where you, you have just ended. I think that um, the introduction of partner politics into the local governance of the country would, would heighten the winner six or uh, principle. Meanwhile, they also admit that the introduction would also ensure positive political coexistence. So that, that, is, that is at least that, that's a plus mm -hmm. for, for the introduction. And looking at the other side of it, I believe that the introduction of partisan politics at the local government level will rather abate the, 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 the problem or the challenge of winner take all Because now you have the NPP controlling the executive presidency of Ghana, you have the NPC controlling the parliament of Ghana, and indeed, apart from the national uh, executive authority, the president having the executive authority at the national level, the other executive authority is at the local government level, which are also held by MNDC. And as at the moment, you have all the 260 centers of executive power in the in, in MPP appointee. And that clearly is, is a, is, is a signifies, I mean, a winner case for principle. Because all the assemblies, executive authorities, are controlled by the by, by MPP elements, and then the national executive authority again controlled by the MPP. But if we introduce partisanship, at least some of the opposition political parties would also win to control. Some part, I mean, some aspects of the nation in terms of the executive authority at the local level. And that will mitigate the winner face law principle. So I think that it's rather a positive side instead of looking at it from a negative point of view. Mm. Help us understand what Article 53, 55, Clause 3 seeks to do and why some people would campaign for a no vote. The import of Article 55, Clause 3. Well, the import of it is that. As of now, and since 1992, when the current constitution came into force, 
Um, the, the, the principle of Article 253 is to debar political parties from supporting candidates or getting involved in, in elections at the local government level. Mm. That has been the, the, the import, the situation as of now. Okay. And that's what we seek to change to allow advantage, which is already in first place in the assembly, even though the constitutional provision exists. So we need to consolidate, we want to consolidate that and take the move by the horn and allow other parties to openly do it instead of going underground to kind of to kind of finally get involved. Mm. So what, what, how instrumental are chiefs, especially in going into the appointment of MMDCs by the president? Well, at the moment, looking at the constitutional provision, yeah. appointment of MMDC is, is the exclusive function of the president. Mm. Article 2431 clearly says that the president shall have the power to appoint MMDC. And that is all. It doesn't, it doesn't indicate the processes through which the president uh, exercises that authority. Okay. So what it means is that it's a discretionary power of the president. And we, some of us believe that it is not the best when it comes to um, the democratic governance, especially when, when it is premised on a constitution, constitutional arrangement like what we have now, mm. which, is, which, is, which has to do with multi-party democracy as, as, as one of the pillars of, of governance in this country. Okay. All right. Thank you very much for speaking with us. George Chaba, for is former president of the Association of Local Government Authorities. Yes.